The Tennessee Volunteers 2021 quarterback competition will be one of the most interesting quarterback competitions to keep track of in the country, not just the SEC, but of course with SEC fans being so excited about football in general, this will get a good amount of publicity, I would imagine. And so what we want to do today in today's video is go through the film of Hendon Hooker. We're going to watch a drive uh, from Hendon Hooker when he's playing against North Carolina this past year. And again, with Hendon Hooker, there's only a few plays from this drive, uh, but we did a, a good video breakdown of the tools that he brings to the table earlier on uh, there in the spring. So I'll link that video below. Uh, you can go check that out if you haven't seen it yet. Then we're going to watch a, a drive from Harrison Bailey against Virg uh, Vanderbilt. Excuse me. We're going to watch Harrison Bailey against Vanderbilt, see the, the, the tool sets that he brings. And then we're going to watch Brian Bauer, a drive against Georgia from two years ago, and kind of see his tool set as well and what he brings to the table as they are the, the main ones competing as of now since Caden Salter has been uh, Salter excuse me has been uh, suspended indefinitely according to uh, the article that will reference from the athletic which I will kind of link below but real quick before we dive into the film let's kind of get an update from camp and an update from the current uh, Tennessee offensive coordinator and what he has to say from each of these three guys we're going to talk about today so on on Bailey he says Harrison has had a knack some knack to him in terms of he's played he finished off the year playing Still young, still just a sophomore. You can see that at times, there's a confidence there. I think I think the guys ra really rallied around him. He's trying to be a really good leader on Hooker. Hendon, you can tell he's he has played a bunch. Really athletic, really good with decision making. On Mauer, Mauer is a really really good athlete. Has a really good arm. For him, it's just continuing to grow within the system. So I'm excited about the, about the Tennessee offensive system and what they're implementing and kind of how it's going to uh, relate to each quarterback. So again, enough of me talking. Let's dive into the film. We're going to watch Hooker first. Then we're going to watch Brian Maurer. And then we're going to watch Harrison Bailey uh, and just kind of see a drive from each guy. And it's not going to display all their tool sets, but just we're going to see how they are in a, in a real game situation. We'll talk about the situation going on in the game and kind of what's going on. It won't be every play from that drive, just every play that's relevant to the video. So let's go ahead and dive into the film. So in the game against North Carolina, uh, there were two quarterbacks that played for Virginia Tech, but Hendon Hooker uh, finished the game and almost brought them back to win. And so this drive is the second play of this drive. A, a running play just happened, and Virginia Tech is down, I think, 42 to, to 31 right now. And uh, we see him lead a drive down to score. And this does a good job showing uh, kind of all the, the, the showcases and all the tools and talents that Hidden Hooker's bring into Tennessee. And again, I already did a, a, a clip of of talking about Hendon Hooker's tool set, which I'll you know link in the description. You can go we'll kind of watch a more detailed um, kind of clip of Hendon Hooker. But let's go ahead and watch this play. It's going to showcase his athleticism and ability to run. And whenever the play breaks down, he can make 12 yards um, whenever nothing's supposed to be there. Nothing's there. Gets up field. Good acceleration. Good first down there. That, that is a great you know addition to, to see at, at the, uh, the the Tennessee quarterback room, him to be able to, to beat that athletics. Let's go ahead and watch this play. The end zone angle. Nothing going, nothing going. Just take off, man. Good stuff. Good job. So after the the play we just watched of Hooker, we will see there have been a few successful run plays, and now uh, we are kind of just past midfield, and we're going to see a simple kind of rollout, and Hooker, Hooker is able to dump it off to his guy, and his guy does the rest. And Very simple play, but it's his athleticism that has the defense kind of biting on him running, which allows this to open up. So you can be really creative in this offense at Tennessee uh, because of, of Hooker's ability to run. And like we saw in the last video we made of Hooker, Hooker can rip it, man. He's got a good arm. He, he's got a lot of tools to like about him throwing as well. So you compare those two, and you've got a pretty good uh, – potential option at quarterback let's go ahead and just watch this play though and it continues to keep the drive alive it's nothing fancy he gets out there everyone bites on him he's able to dump it out to the tight end and tight end does the rest picks up a first down we'll go ahead and watch the end zone angle as well so you can get a, a little better view of it watch everyone run towards hooker bite, bite 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 nice and simple he does the rest good job hitting hooker so here's the play that they score on. They score a touchdown on to get within five uh, at this point in the game. The, the, the play we just watched happened actually two plays ago. There's an incomplete pass, and this is a, a touchdown. So uh, this is kind of a cool play because it combines several of Hooker's tool sets, his, his threat to run, which draws the defense, and he throws a strike for a touchdown. You see his ability to throw uh, on display as well. But just look how much... Uh, you know, effort the defense has to take in, has to prepare for because he can run, because he can do so many different things. And the fact that he can still throw is just kind of uh, makes him that much more dangerous. But look how open the receiver comes based off what Hooker brings to the table. This is just going to 
let Tennessee fans see the creativity that's possible. Watch him come open here. Throws a good ball, and he takes a hit. Good job. Let's watch the end zone angle as well. Again, a lot to like about Hooker's game, and uh, the creativity part uh, should be fun for Tennessee fans uh, if they use Hooker how he's supposed to be used. Watch him take a step back. Takes a hit, delivers the ball, receiver does the rest. A lot to like. So here's Brian Maurer against the University of Georgia 2019 film. And we're using this film because the majority of his, of his uh, playing time was in 2019, not 2020. This was the first drive after Maurer actually threw a really nice, deep touchdown pass against Georgia. This is the first drive following that touchdown pass. And we're going to go ahead and kind of watch this drive. It, it does lead to a touchdown. So this is a quick uh, play action rollout. Maurer gets rid of the ball quickly to his uh, receiver and the Tennessee um, receiver does the rest. Let's go ahead and watch this real quick, just a sideline view. Let's get it out real quick. But this is a good first play to the drive that leads to a successful drive. Let's go ahead and move on to the next play. So this is going to show Maurer's ability to uh, process information, see the pre-snap and process it uh, post-snap and deliver a good ball. Uh, this is the play after the, the play we just watched, actually, uh, of this drive, and we see that it's pretty spread out right. We have a, a receiver outside the numbers, and then we have one kind of right even with the numbers. So that's going to kind of fit with what the new offensive system is going to be doing at Tennessee on a regular basis, right, not just here and there. But this is going to show a good quick slant, good quick throw here that Maurer does. So just watch him process information and get rid of the ball quickly, which is impression because he's a freshman here. So it's impressive. Nice, easy, and simple, but they see the DBs playing outside technique. The safety's 10-plus yards off the ball. He's able to deliver it quickly. We're going to watch the end zone angle real quick, or the behind-the-center angle. Safety's about 15 yards back. Delivers it quickly. Good job by a young uh, quarterback there. So here's a, the first third down of this drive, the first two uh, plays of this series of downs or incompletions. So now he finds himself at third and right at 10. And we're going to see great anticipation by Maurer. If there was a, a, a good ball and it's highly contested, right? So he's going to throw a, a, a quick comeback route. We see press coverage here. The corner is right about a yard off the line of scrimmage. Uh, the receiver is off the line of scrimmage. And we're going to see good anticipation. He gets rid of the ball quickly because we're going to see pressure does get to Maurer, but he's able to get rid of the ball. So let's go ahead and watch this angle here. Let's go sideline, then go behind the center angle. Ball's out now. Good catch, too. Let's go ahead and watch the behind the center angle here. Again, good anticipation by Maurer. Pressure almost gets there. He gets rid of the ball quickly. Good ball placement as well. So here is two plays after the last play we just watched. This is the second five. The first down play uh, uh, on this series of downs with a five-yard run. We're going to see a quick play action here and maybe some type of RPO. Uh, but the linebacker comes in, and Maurer does a good job throwing it to where the defender was. And we're going we're gonna to pause it um, here in a few seconds. Again, we're going to see the safety is kind of flat-footed. That gives Maurer uh, enough time to deliver a good ball here. But again, just a good second five play. Takes what the defense gives you. But it's simple, but it's, you know, a lot of times when the quarterbacks do the simple things is when they see success. Let's go ahead and watch this play. Backer blitzes. We see that the, the safety is off balance, right? And so the safety does do, do a good job recovering, actually. But uh, good arm strength by Maurer to get the ball in here and to get the ball uh, before the safety is able to recover. Good catch, too. We'll go ahead and watch the behind-the-center angle as well. But that's a first down play, keeping the drive alive for Tennessee. <clears throat> so he gets his eyes around. Sees the backer blitzing, throws it right where the backer is. Good job. So here's the drive-ending play. And so since the last video, there have been a running play by Maurer, lost yards, and a few throwaways. Um, and then a penalty that helped them get down inside the 10, lost yards in a run. Uh, so now this is a second down. This is a great throw. It's similar to the last clip that we watched. Um, for the simple fact, it's a kind of a quick play action play. And Brian Maurer gets the ball out very quickly. We're going to see the safety is over here. And for some reason, the safety is not over here towards the strong side. And the safety is not able to get back in time for this touchdown. It's a, it's a quick slim slash, slash bang route that Maurer does a good job getting rid of the ball quickly. So let's go ahead and watch, watch the end zone angle after this. Ball's out quick. Not, not a lot of space to be able to deliver the ball. He does a good job fitting in space. The safety does do a good job recovering, um, but not able to get there in time. Let's watch Maurer. Maurer, quick release. He knows what he wants. Good job. 
So here's Harrison Bailey from the 2020 game against Vanderbilt. This is the first drive uh, in the second half. And we're going to see uh, Bailey do a good job demonstrating his kind of just feel on his throws and his ability to throw with touch and, and know what kind of ball to throw against this, this type of coverage. We're going to see a quick play action, good drop back, and he's going to throw it uh, over in this region of the field. And he just does a good job delivering the ball, throwing a very catchable ball. Let's go ahead and just watch this play. We're watch this whole drive as well. This Again, this is the first play of this drive. So here's the second play of the drive, um, and the, the, the plays after this is actually no other passing plays. There's several run plays, and eventually end up scoring a touchdown. However, let's show the second play of this, of this drive because uh, it's a completion from Harrison Bailey. It's about a nine-yard pass, and it's just a quick kind of hitch slash comeback route here. We're going to see the corners playing about seven yards off the ball, and he's kind of on, has like some inside technique and coverage. He bails out pretty hard, and we see Harrison Bailey see that read. Look at his head, where his head's right now, so he already sees what the defense is showing him. Does a good job getting the ball out, taking what the defense gives him. We'll go ahead and watch this play. Watch the corner. So this is the first play, the first drive, essentially, after Vanderbilt just scored to make it 35-17. And while the game is still pretty far out of reach, you know, at least this kind of gave Vandy a glimmer of hope, if you will. And so um, good job by Harrison Bailey to respond here. And it ends up being a long touchdown, uh, partly because of the poor tackling of Vanderbilt. But still a good play action, a good ball, and a good job of Bailey seeing, you know, uh, deciphering everything pre-snap, seeing where the ball is most likely going to go play action turning back and seeing where the where the hole is and delivering the ball and the receiver does the rest so just a good job by bailey but but again the last clip of watch of bailey and this is just kind of a one play drive let's go ahead and just watch uh, how the tennessee offense re responds so again just to kind of a, a brief drive from each obviously mauer's drive was a bit longer um, the other guys' drives were a bit shorter, but it, it kind of gave us a general idea of different tool sets, what they're bringing to the table, and how they handle themselves in a situation in an actual drive. So I thought it was a decent uh, kind of uh, a decent amount of film to kind of break down for a video like this. And so if you want any more detailed videos of a certain guy, just let me know. And again, we have that Hendon Hooker uh, full breakdown already out, which I'll link down below. The athletic article, I will link that down below as well if you want to kind of check that out and read the, the, the full. Uh, link of the full article and kind of see the details they go into say and plus we reference them so we want to give them credit uh, but again that's all we got for the Tennessee quarterback competition I'm sure we'll have more videos as kind of the writing is kind of written on the wall and, and more quarterbacks are getting more playing time we'll kind of get an update with that but again if you like any quarterback related content video breakdowns like this competition talk or just kind of how we screen and assess and monitor quarterbacks from the weight room and what we do in the weight room and how we kind of translate that to the field we're going to be putting out more of those type of videos as well. So again, any quarterback led content uh, we will be putting out. If you like that type of stuff, please consider subscribing. Like the video if you liked it. Give us a comment of what you want to see and we'll do our best to continue to improve and get that out there. We'll see you next time.